A huge hotfix was deployed just a short few hours ago that radically changes how multiple different steps of the relic, and in fact how the Bojans on their front in general, work radically, creating massive incentives for players of all types to jump into the Shadowbringers relic content. Before I get into that, I want to say that if you enjoy this video and want to help support me and my content, I would incredibly super appreciate if you dropped a delibrium, a rajane, on that like button and cat daddy that subscribe button. So the first change is that loathsome memories of the dying drop rate has been increased for all of the critical engagements in the Brojan Southern Front. This was the first step of the three new steps added with patch 5.45, which upgrades the relic weapon from item level 500 to item level 515 with custom stats on the weapon. This was the step that I discussed before that was taking... How about we say talking about how you could either run Sycorus Tower, the quickest one in my experience at least, or farm the Bojan Southern Front. One drop was guaranteed per run of Sycorus Tower, and in spite of Sycorus Tower taking around 14 minutes in my experience, I did personally find it much, 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 much more significantly faster, in my experience at least, than trying to grind the Southern Front for them. So now there is no possible way for me to calculate what the drop rate is within this short of a time span. I'm trying to get this news out to y'all, but critical engagements have now become dramatically more lucrative to farm. So now we're actually talking about low some memories. I figured that I'm going to just stick point number three in here because there was also apparently a single low some memory of the dying given for completing Castor Malacus Latori which I'm going to totally shimmy around the fact that I genuinely didn't even realize that was a thing, but at the same point in time, Cash from Lacus Latori was notoriously difficult to get completed. But now the Battle of Cash from Lacus Latori will give you more than one, and I'm going to tell you that it is going to actually give you five for completing the Battle of Cash from Lacus Latori now. And so that means that a single weapon that needs 15 of these loads of memories of the dying only needs three cast from runs to complete that 15. And in my eyes, that's actually pretty decent pace. The second step of the steps released for 5.45 included farming haunting and vexatious memories of the dying. This was probably the most brutal part of the grind in my past experience where I did collect a ton of different data points to see how could I optimize this grind. The choices of content to get these memories were either to grind fates in particular maps where I calculated that it was around an 8.16% drop rate for each fate cleared, or you could run Void Arc or Royal City of Rabinaster raids, which were the two that I find the fastest by far in my experience, for a single guaranteed memory drop. Doing runs of Royal City of Rabinaster indicated that it took roughly 22 minutes per clear, and Void Arc took roughly 16 minutes per clear leading me to previously conclude that the most ideal way in my experience to farm these was actually to queue for the Alliance Raids, Royal City of Ravenous or Void Arc, and then spam the Fates between. With these new buffs, it's impossible for me to determine if the drop rate is better at this point of time to beat Alliance Raids, but they might actually now be way more worth it, so definitely give that a shot, see, try a few Fates, and see what is going to run best and fastest for you. The fifth point is one that I'm going to say is actually very interesting. It says that Castor Malacus Latori used to drop 26 Bojan coins. These are the bronze coins in particular. But now Castor Malacus Latori will drop 100 coins. This is actually a staggeringly big change that is going to get, in my opinion, a lot more people into Delibrium Rajane Savage much faster. Now why I say this is that bronze coins are used to enhance the basic armors that you can buy from the vendor. In fact, if, if I even take my step a step back, even the base armor pieces cost these Bojan coins, these Brawn Bojan coins. But the big, big, big ticket items are the enhancing components. Those Bojan runner secret boxes that you can see at the very bottom of the NPC, which for the record on Gilgamesh were a whopping, for some of them, a whopping hun... Uh, no, not a hundred. 10 million gil per box a few days ago when I last checked. So when I say it is a hugely ticket, like high ticket item, that is maybe an understatement. You could literally buy three houses with one of these drops if you got it. Not to mention that you can and always were able to get a drop of these from your personal loot in Castor and Lacus Latori in the first place, but this was a thing months and months ago. It's not super high drop, right? But I did get a few myself. So, for greater context around these bronze coins, 
These bronze coins are going to let you enhance your gear and put haste onto the gear, which will significantly drop your cast times and global cooldown in Bojan content, which will make you an extremely valuable asset in Delibleon Rajane Savage. Or if you only want cosmetics, the upgraded versions of these armors are mandatory to purchase in order to dye them, meaning that my current armor set of this epic Final Fantasy XII Judge set, the brand new one from 5.45, in order to actually dye it like a pure white color, I actually can't do that because I have not upgraded it yet. Which is unfortunate, but it gives me something to go after. But the upgrade chain, just to be clear, does require you at this point in time to already have owned the upgrade from the previous step. So in order to get this judge armor, I need to have the like machinist or I mean range DPS upgraded basic set from the runner's lock boxes secrets. So that upgrade chain does require you to have the past steps basically. So bronze coins are actually uber important. Now, the last change that I wanna talk about in this video is that we are now getting big rewards and incentives for completing cast from Lacus Latore in general. We will either get Allegan Tomestones of Revelation, which are the brand new weekly capable tomestones used to buy 520 item level gears, or alternatively it will give you experience points for leveling characters. Either way, this is going to go a long way to make sure that players are not going to have to worry about spamming expert roulette or hunts to cap your tomestones every week if you just want to focus in on the relic content and spam cast from Lacus Latori. So for rewards from the cast from Lacus Latori, I have been told, although I cannot guarantee that this is 100% right because I have still yet to successfully get into cast room to confirm it, is that we have 100 Bojin coins, 5 loathsome memories of the dying, 81k medal at rank 15, it's not going to be 81k at rank 10 just to be clear, the medal gains do scale, 50 tomestones of revelation, and 5 million experience points. Although this experience like metal probably scales up or down depending on your current level, but regardless, it should be a huge chunk of experience regardless of what level your job is at that you're leveling. Which for me, I think this is actually amazing because I am always one for more options to get done with weekly tasks. Unlike WoW's Torghast. I hate Torghast. Anyhow, that is all for this video, and I'm really curious. Let me know if you're super hyped and pumped to get the, to the Shadowbringers Relic content with these new changes. I, for one, think that they are really great changes, and I really do hope that this opens up the content for more and more people, and gets more people trying out new things, like, say, Delubrium Ravagene Savage. Delubrium Ravagene Savage. I should just say Shrine of the Queen, shouldn't I? But as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to help support me and my content, I would incredibly appreciate if you dropped a delubrium a la jane on that like button and cat daddy that subscribe button. And hey, that is all for now. Take care and stay safe.